Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I do thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, which hopefully you do find informative. And when you go to your local bookstore, you will seriously consider seeking out the book that I'm about to feature this time out. And the book is Song of the Sparrow by Tara McLean. This is published by Harper Avenue and it retails for $25.99. Tara McLean is a noted uh, Canadian singer. Um, she has created some amazing music over the years and right now she has created an amazing book. And the cover of the book, she looks as though she's in a big bird's nest. And in many ways, she's spreading her wings and she's flying. And uh, this book is definitely a book that you will never forget. Um, it tells about her life, um, the hardships she faced, and um, uh, a lot of negatives. But through it all, through song, um, she persevered. And uh, she talks about growing up in Prince Edward Island, um, her family, uh, and a music became an integral part of her life. Her father was a musician, and it was in many ways through song that was her salvation. Um, growing up, um, when she was younger, her house caught on fire, and it, it burned up, and the police said it was arson and they knew the person that did it but um, they didn't uh, exactly arrest him. It, it sounds like um, he was somebody that had it in for them for whatever reason but um, even more terrible things happened during her lifetime. Um, Tara and her sister Shay were um, sexually abused uh, by their grandfather and there was also someone else in the house, a family friend, who was also an abuser. So it was not easy growing up in that house. And it was when Tara told someone uh, about the situation, about what was happening, uh, that it stopped. And the grandfather was obviously banished from the house. But as they found out, uh, it happened to other members of their family as well, too, by the same people. So. Uh, like I said, through song, um, she in many ways grew. And she talks about signing up with the um, network record company in Canada. That was her main label uh, to this very day. And how she went to the States. And the Capitol Record Company uh, was very interested in, in her and her music. So uh, she had a career in the States as well, too. She was very popular. Um, she toured with. Dido, you know, a very popular singer, and um, they became very good friends. Now, uh, as she explains, uh, she talks about her many relationships. Uh, she married twice. Uh, the first marriage did not last, but the, uh, there was a child. And in fact, in her two marriages, there are three children. But there are so many layers to Tara McLean. Uh, she also formed with her good friends Kim Stockwood and Domine Doyle uh, the group called Shay. And Shay, in many ways, the name is a tribute to her late sister Shay, who died in a car uh, accident. She was young and it was a very, very tragic accident. So, in her memory, uh, the group was called Shay. And they, they were considered as a super group and they recorded some great music too. Now, when Tara was uh, let go by Capitol Records in the States, it was because she wasn't, well, sort of pulling her weight and making enough money for them. Uh, she was already, she had a great fan following, uh, both in Canada and internationally. So it was sort of like a slap in the face uh, that she'd done well, but she wasn't big enough for them. So um, the book, Song of the Sparrow, uh, is released in conjunction with her new CD, uh, her, her first CD in quite a few years, Song of the Sparrow. And it is great music. Um, if you want to, you can play the music while reading the book or read the book first and play the music or play the music and read the book later. Um, it all goes well together and you are 
very, very impressed by this amazing Canadian talent. Uh, she's resilient. Uh, a, a lot of bad things have been thrown at her throughout her lifetime, but she has persevered and she is stronger for it. And by coming forward with, you know, the, the facts of what happened, it's giving her a new strength and others who have experienced similar trauma during their life can also find there is strength in numbers and that healing comes from within and gradually too. So um, Song of the Sparrow is a great melodious tune from Tara McLean. So if you want a book that will definitely stay with you long after you close the final page, this is the one for you. So hopefully when you go to your local bookstore, you will seek it out. And when you go to your local record store, you will also seek out the CD as well. So please let me know if you do agree with my review. So until we meet again, and we will, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Thank you again. Bye for now.